Did you manage to beat the heat this weekend? A little relief is finally setting in now, but if you were out and about this weekend, you know it was downright hot. Add the masks over your face and it's worse. Tim Gordon set out to see how people were coping. Nothing but sun and heat and water flowing at Salmon Street Springs, cooling off the kids. No, wait, that was last summer. This year, the water is off, and there's not much of a crowd along the waterfront. But we did find some folks like Rob and Linda Haskins to ask about their masks. Well, it's warm. <laughs> we take a breather every once in a while. Others were out exercising in the afternoon heat, some maskless, but most, like this PSU student, running with the mask most of the time. I heard this is like dangerous for your lungs. So maybe like sometimes if there's like nothing around me, like there's no people around me, I take it off a little bit and then I put it back when someone is coming by or something like this. We found some just out for a stroll. These guys with no masks lined up shoulder to shoulder along the waterfront. We avoided them, but these three were approachable. Are you doing all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's annoying, but wearing a mask is annoying, but it's also safe, so I understand. And I got some feedback to my Facebook post, including some advice to just stay inside and away from others. All right, so but also one woman who has a YouTube video showing how she makes more comfortable masks. Then we hit Northwest 23rd Avenue, one of Portland's busiest shopping streets. No huge crowds here, but plenty of masks, except... No mask for the dog. No mask for the dog. He, he has issues trying to keep it, keep it on him. No mask for Odie, but Sean Lotman's got his on in feeling it. It's a little warm, but, you know, at the same time, it's what you need to do. And, and you know, there are plenty of times walking around where there's not people around and you can kind of let the mask down and, and cool off a little bit. Strategies for mask wearing and no complaints about the sauna effect or heat rashes. We saw most Portlanders doing what the science says is the right thing to do. Tim Gordon, KGW News.